Hey guys, I want to share a quick uh, recovery move that I absolutely love for hips, but especially hamstrings. Everybody's always looking for a hamstring stretch, and I think so many ways that we do it, we're kind of cranking on our back, we're not really isolating the hamstrings, and sometimes the hamstrings are tight because of a pelvic tilt, and it's not really the hamstrings fault, and stretching them is actually going to rip something. So I'm against that. Um, this way, though, you get to find out how tight your hamstrings really are. We're isolating them while we've got the pelvis in a nice neutral position. We're we're not um, cranking on the low back you'll see and we do it from at the wall and there's nothing better for recovery than throwing your legs up a wall I absolutely love just that basic position but um let me show you how to do this really important that when you come up to the wall your butt stays down so if your hamstrings are really tight when you put your legs up um, if you get too close you're gonna feel your butt lift so back off until you get to that point where you can have your legs up, but your butt isn't lifting. Now, my hamstrings aren't that tight, so I can get all the way up. So you gotta shimmy. It's not really graceful, but you have to shimmy, get up here, take the legs straight up. Really important that your dorsi flexed. And then you're gonna take Let's go with the right one first, and I'm gonna cross it over my left. Now, see how I did that? I don't want you to have any knee pain, so if you start to feel any knee pain, then this is not an exercise for you. Also, if, as I start to cross here, I lift my butt up, then you're not doing it right. You've gotta keep your butt down, take this over. Now, try to point the toes of this um, right foot a little bit uh, towards the floor if you can. And now you're probably saying, all right, well, I've got a hip stretch, but maybe I don't feel a whole lot in my hamstrings yet. Trust me, you're gonna take your hands and now you're not pressing into the knee, come down below the knee, and then just kind of roll this out. And as you press this leg into your left one, your right one into your left one, then you feel a whole lot of left hamstring stretch. So just don't be afraid to press that in. And you take about five breaths here. In the interest of time for this video, I'm not going to take five breaths, but I'm gonna come over and do the other side. Now we have this tendency as we start to cross this leg over to roll this one out. Make sure you don't externally rotate your hip. Keep that nice and neutral. And then I cross this over and then same thing. I'm just gonna press in here and get a nice hamstring stretch. You might feel a little calf. It depends on how uh, tight you are. And then take your five breaths, let it go, and you're good. But, um, hey, give that a try. It feels awesome. Just legs up the wall feels awesome. Give that a try. Let me know how you do.